family, you know. For years, I was a transactional coach. What can I get? What can I get? And uh, when you get fired, it humbles you. I spent 430 days outside the game. Everybody asked, uh, you know, you were here with the Aggies in 2011. No, I wasn't. I was fired. And uh, I just sit there and watch the Aggies play. And God has brought me full circle and changed my life. I was dead, and he saved me. And so I'm a transformational coach now. It's not about wins or losses. It's about love. It's about building men, building relationships that will last forever. I got a second chance. This guy's a second chance guy. This guy's a second chance guy. This guy's a second chance guy. We're about building people up. You know, it's not Mission Omaha. It's Mission Build and Save Lives. And that's what we're in the business of doing. This is the most unselfish, selfless group of men and families I've ever been around. This is rare in this day and age. Rare in a, in a microwave society where it's all about entitlement and all about when do I get to play. This guy's playing with a broken left hand right now. Nobody knows that. His left hand's broken. Last year he played with a broken wrist. Last year Taylor Bean played with a broken thumb. I won't even get into the rest of the litany of injuries that are going on with this team right now. Andrew Frije just walked up to me in the dugout and said, give my last at bat to Nate Van Dyke. Robbie Rojas gave up his last at bat so Hunter uh, Sutherland could catch. You know, there is no greater honor. And this is, uh, I could preach. It's what I wish our, our country would get back to. There's no greater honor than to sacrifice for a brother. And that encapsulates and embodies this team to a T. That's why they're so lovable.